Hi, this is James Gardner, the Senior Tech Geek, and in this video, again, it's following on my, from my REC 2020 uh, demonstration that was sponsored by Barco, Blackmagic Design Resolve, um, Simpty, and the Australian Cinematography Society. We want to talk about something that's been talked about a lot, but now we need to talk about it seriously, and that's 4K. Now, why is this an important topic now when it's been a, such a fairy and hairy topic in the past? The, use, the need for 4K has always been a questionable thing. There's people saying we must go for it, and there's a lot of more pragmatic people saying, well, at the general viewing distance of most televisions, no one can really see 4K. These are all true, and I'm more pragmatically aligned, and I think up until today, that's most likely the case. If you have a look, for example, I have a lot to do with cinema in my finishing room. I actually own some, a cinema and do other bits and pieces in my work because I'm very cinema focused as you can tell by my cine tech geek um, you'll notice that the number of films actually released in DCPs in 4k is very low if you actually saw the numbers it's actually surprisingly low and does that make much of a difference to um, the content we see in entertainment the, the fact that it's entertaining out there on the screen well not really but something's changed it's, it's, and it's a significant change that we ca cannot ignore. And it's not about the fact that every TV that you buy now, if you go into a store, is pretty much 4K anyway. The fact is, is that in the previous video I would have talked about the, the, the coming huge train which is high dynamic range. The problem with that is that all the standards which go around producing deliverables in high dynamic range are around 4K. So, if you're going to produce a high dynamic range master, well, if you go along the specs, etc., it's a 4K master. So, realistically, you could up res it, etc., to get to that final master, but it is 4K. We have to make 4K files. We have to have preview screens in 4K. We have to be able to put them down SDI in 4K and other aspects. 3G SDI, the common, you know, we've pretty, pretty stalled on that for the last couple of years. We have to move on. This is one of the reasons why I think Blackmagic is here because they make 6G, 12G. And really, you know, this is the time for Blackmagic. They jumped ahead and made all this uh, high bandwidth 4K type um, SDI and other workflows. But, you know, realistically, I look around in Australia, it's been very sluggish for people actually to take advantage of it. Well, if you want to take advantage of high dynamic range and there's all these new standards coming along, well, you haven't got a choice. You have to start buying products like from Blackmagic to actually facilitate the requirements for these grading monitors and other aspects. So, good for them, good Blackmagic. They're probably going to do very well out of that, you know. Um, great. But you need to understand that this is happening and why we have to go to 4K. It's not because we want to see 4K. It's because the standards are developed around 4k and that's the deliverable we have to deliver realistically i still don't believe that we'll see a lot of 4k high dynamic range because it, most of it will probably be streaming of course uh, 4k streaming uses a lot more bandwidth but again we fall down to the pragmatic look at that fact that in the home most people aren't close enough to see 4k so i believe at the end of the day it may be 4k in the deliverable but how it gets to the consumer is most likely probably going to be a 2k even probably a 720 type stream is possible if that's what is needed needed to get it to the end consumer so we can it's a big issue see high dynamic range still works and they still have its benefits at all these resolutions, even at standard definition, a high dynamic range picture has a benefit of what could normally done, you know, on a standard definition 709 image. But again, it has to be delivered in 4K. And that's why you know, I can't stress more, because the standards only really evolve around doing high dynamic range in 4K. You obviously you don't have to, but the dis when you're delivering a deliverable, it'll be based on a simply standard, and all those standards are sort of revolving around 4k or where you want to go so 4k it is so this is an important aspect because it does mean there's a lot of you who are going to have to upgrade your SDI infrastructure or change the way you do some of your you know your equipment and that's a important aspect and it's probably one of the things I want to look at at NAB this year to see how this transaction and how this is translating into the market. Because obviously there'll be a lot of people who are looking into this and have most likely realised this and the way that the 
the vendors, uh, the you know the the questions and the and the what products are starting to get traction will give you a good indication on exactly how this is shaking out. So yeah, 4K. It is the year of the 4K, not because of 4K, but because of high dynamic range. Anyway, that's James Garden, Senior Tech Geek, on the Rec 2020 demonstrations and some of the interesting topics that came out. And again, one of those was 4K for a very different reason. Bye for now.